most ambulance trusts, but not all, um, are broken down into, into these three areas. So firstly, we have urgent emergency care, the thing that people traditionally think about um, when they're talking about the ambulance service. So, you know, the, the production of an ambulance at, uh, you know, the scene of an incident. And usually uh, people think about the transport of uh, someone to hospital as a direct result of that. What I would say in that vein is that uh, probably only about 40% of the cases we attend ever see the inside of a hospital. Our paramedics will see and treat the majority of the cases um, that they are called to at the scene. And um, it's not the glamorous sort of, oh, we're dealing with all of these high incidents on a daily basis. Actually, the majority of the time we spend uh, looking after patients with chronic disease um, and working with our partners for how we safely uh, keep those patients at home. We have a hazardous area response team as part of that, um, and they do the very high level attend the very high level incidents uh, because we border the northeast coast right from the Scottish border down to the Yorkshire border. Uh, we do see quite a lot of work with our Coast Guard colleagues. We work closely with the fire services you might expect and closely with the police in that uh, blue light um, arena that everyone uh, is familiar with. We also run a very big scheduled care um, service, which in its easiest sense uh, is about, you know, the transport of patients to and from hospital for booked appointments. And that can be anything from acutely unwell patients for dialysis um, through to, you know, the elderly who are going for their annual checkup with their geriatrician um, or and everything in between that. And then lastly, and not all ambulance trusts in the in England or in the UK provide this, we have an emergency operations centre that combines uh, NHS 111, which is a very familiar number uh, now, I think, for, uh, for people out in the community, and of course, the 999 service. And we have an integral service um, for our call handlers built within there and follow a pathways uh, construct for that. And then obviously we have a very small, really, uh, support infrastructure for that. So in context, we uh, we have almost 3,000 staff in the AS. Uh, I said we cover 3,500 square miles and we have an annual turnover of about 180 million, which in the context of the NHS places us as a small trust, a small foundation trust. <laughs> 